What's the story of one times one? Mrs. Wonderwand can't help playing tricks on her friends. <laughs> when she comes across Mr. Wonderwand, she casts a spell and changes him into a Wonder Wand clown. One times one is one. What's the story of two times two? When Mrs. Two Squeaks meets Mr. Two Squeaks, she invites him to share a magnificent slice of cheese. Mrs. Two Squeaks nibbles a corner at the bottom, and Mr. Two Squeaks nibbles a corner at the top. The two mice aren't hungry anymore. They put the rest of their meal to one side, which has taken the shape of a four. Two times two is four. What's the story of three times three? Little Three can stand and loves jumping in big muddy puddles. But Mummy Three can stand really doesn't like him doing it, but not at all. She immediately dashes to get the shower in the form of a nine. Hee <laughs> hee, Operation Washdown can start. Three times three is nine. What's the story of four times four? When Mr. Vampfor wants some fresh blood, he pretends to fall over. <coughs> Mrs. Vampfor comes to his aid with her nurse's equipment and with a fresh bag of blood. <coughs> There's nothing like a little snack to bring you back to health. <coughs> Mr. Vampfor brings out a straw in the shape of a one to sip from the bag of blood, which is in the shape of a six. Drink up. <laughs> four times four is sixteen. What's the story of five times five? When Daddy Flaming Five wants to play with his little boy, he throws him up in the air using his big tummy. Little Flaming Five has a wonderful slide on a super toboggan <laughs> in the shape of a two. Yoo-hoo! Five times five is twenty-five. What's the story of six times six? When Mr. Scorpy Six meets Mrs. Scorpy Six, they give each other a big kiss, and a heart flies out as it touches the ground. The heart breaks in the shape of a three, and an adorable baby Scorpy Six appears. Six times six is thirty-six. What's the story of seven times seven? It's the new year. Granny Ram Seven and Grandpa Ram Seven are having a party. Grandpa wants to play a trick on Granny. He blows his party trumpet right in her ear. Granny Ram Seven is so surprised she loses her hat in the shape of a four. She angrily seizes Grandpa's toy, which is in the shape of a nine, and gets rid of it once and for all. Come on, the party's over. Time for bed. Seven times seven is forty-nine. What's the story of eight times eight? Daddy Spooky Eight and Little Spooky Eight. Love playing football. Daddy Spooky Eight encourages Little Spooky Eight, who kicks his ball and. <laughs> Whoops! The ball and train land in the shape of a six, right on Mummy's beautiful vase, which smashes in the shape of a four. Oh, shackles! Eight times eight is sixty-four. What's the story of nine times nine? Mr. Slimy Nine and Mrs. Slimy Nine have just got up, and it's another lovely day. But Mrs. Frog invites herself to breakfast. Mr. Slimy Nine and Mrs. Slimy Nine are quickly swallowed. The frog is in the shape of an eight, and its long tongue in the shape of a one.
Nine times nine is eighty-one. What's the story of ten times ten? When the potion Magi Ten meets another one, it makes her very, very hungry. She dives headfirst into the cauldron and comes out feeling very full. She gives an enormous magic burp and blows a bubble in the shape of a zero. Ten times ten is one hundred.